guys, welcome to another episode of Duck Duck Diecast. Today's car will be the Auto Art Dealership Edition Porsche 911 Carrera RSR Turbo 2.1. Okay, guys, so before we start on the review, I just want to let you guys know that this is one of my favorite pieces in my Auto Art collection. Just because it is one of the hardest ones to get because you can only get this in a dealership and I wasn't purchasing in that point in time where they actually released it in the dealership. So I had to get this second hand and unfortunately it doesn't have a box. Alright now let's start with the review. So let's start from the rear as always. That wing is massive. It's just absolutely huge. Ridiculous. I thought the over fenders at the rear were ridiculous but that and the wing holy crap it looks so nice and just right by the wing there there's going to be an intake towards the turbine housing and I'll show you guys that later so the Martina livery just stunning it's unmistakable it's beautiful I love the contrast of colors with the silver. Not a lot of cars can pull out the silver and I think this is one of those cars that can definitely pull it off. And moving on we can see a lot of vents going on in certain areas. There's a vent by the B pillar and there's also a vent by the front rear over fender. The decal placement is very well done. It's not easy to make that type of decal through and through from front to rear amazing job there's also no sign of indentation it's all smooth overall I don't see any complaints in the detail so far now the front you notice those two huge vents and that center vent as well very nicely done and if we look closer look at those headlights so detailed like you can even see those tiny lines, those indentations there from inside the lights, very well done. It looks very realistic. The other thing that I couldn't help notice is if you look at those hood pins, they're actually just one single piece that's attached to the hood. So I'm not really happy with that. I wish they had a little bit more realism to it. Maybe had a secondary piece aside from that metal piece right there. But oh well, they did make it up for having that gas cap piece, a separate piece, which we will see later in the interior. Before we move on to the other side, I just want to mention one more thing. If you notice the grill, that front grill right there, there's actually a tiny indentation right in the center of that grill. So what happened was during transit, it might have been pushed in a little bit so I actually had to painstakingly carefully pull it back out using a tiny pick that I would slowly push it out bit by bit and then eventually I got it to where I'm happy with it and I just didn't want to do any more after that. The other side is also very identical. The only difference would be the driver's name. This side is Mueller, the other side is Van Lennon. So the decals are attached properly and they look exactly identical to the other side, which I'm very happy of. So I did notice right behind this rear quarter panel by this really huge wide body over fender is there should be a vent there, sort of like a brake heat dissipation, but I notice it's not really a vent, it's almost like a sticker or like it was uh, sort of like a mesh fiberglass and then as soon as they attached it, it was painted. I was really hoping it would be a real vent. So the first thing I noticed in this video actually is that 
the wing is lopsided and I can't believe I missed that I I've never really noticed it until now I guess it's a good thing I'm doing these videos it makes me feel like I can appreciate my cars more and I can check it into finer detail so unfortunately it is lopsided I took a closer look at it upon the video and yes like there's nothing I could do with it it's the way it was assembled anyways I'm just gonna distract myself from that flaw and take a look at that detailed exhaust it's absolutely gorgeous it's a through and through exhaust it's actually metal and so is that metal bracket piece right there just under that massive wing I also love how you can see that reflection on the mirror of what's to come for the engine bay. So I took a closer look on those wheels and tires and the brake rotors and the calipers. There's not much detail but if you look at the brake rotors they are actually drilled. So that's a nice addition. It's not a through and through drill but hey it uh, still looks nice with that little attention to detail and it's also the same situation at the rears now for the underside of the model as always we're gonna start from the front to the rear so as you can see it's very plasticky it's uh mostly black and uh yeah so there is a lot of detail going on here. They still did some detail. Uh, suspension detail. Uh, there's not much in the center here. But as we go through the rears, we can notice the difference of the size of the tires. It's definitely wider from the rear, from the front. So that is amazing. There seems to be, from the transmission detail to the engine and exhaust detail it's very um it seems to be powder coated in a like a very interesting color combination there like a chrome gray metallic color the last thing that i wanted to mention is when i lifted the model up it's pretty light all right it's now time for the interior review so as you can notice the rear and the front pieces do come off it doesn't have a hinge so I'm not sure how I like that part. I think I'm impartial. I think it would be nice if it was a hinge, but that's okay. You can see more detail from the inside. So I did find in a closer look here that I was having a hard time taking the pieces off and it's actually attached with magnets. So that's a cool feature. This is for both the front and the rear parts. And since they're made of metal, they're actually quite heavy so as we move on well i'll just show you quickly here the wing so there's some nice detail in the vents there and as you can see there's a piping there and that leads to the turbine housing and there's a nice intake there as well okay so interior of the car overall it really looks like a regular 911 from this view without that huge wing aside from that rear wide body but yeah like uh, there seems to be a lot of plastic from the inside there's not much you can see on the passenger side even the door card there's not much on this side at all I do like that gear shifter it's very prominent you could definitely see it from far away And as we look closer to the front, we do see that nice chrome detail on that tank there. And we see other things as well, but they seem to be a little bit plasticky, but still in great detail. Okay, now to the driver's side interior. We 
do see a lot of evident plastic that floor panel i'm not sure is it because of the color that makes it plasticky maybe if it was painted more it looks like a plastic color and was never painted so that was the issue there same with the rest of the interior but unfortunately the floor panel does stick out more as plastic just because of maybe the color and the rest is black and gray Okay, now we get to the last part of the interior. We're looking at the engine bay here, and there seems to be a little bit more detail. I can see some wires, some pipes, and you can't miss that huge intercooler as well. With that huge intercooler in the way there, I am trying to show you guys another angle so I can show you for the fan detail. Here's more detail in that cooling fan. And if you guys recall that big wing had a pipe that would go to the turbine housing and that's the turbo right there where it leads to. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely helps me make more videos like this, create more content. And I'll see you guys next week Wednesday. Have a good one.